Well, I don't know about you, but now I'm convinced that I've lived to see the day. <laughs> the comic industry is now in the death throes. Uh, rather than turning back and trying to fix things, I think there's some of that going on. But on the other hand, especially surrounding Marvel, there's doubling down of the same kind of nonsense. And so here we go. Here's, here's a whole lot more. First, before we get into this, I want to just show off some more artwork. This is by Charlie Snogans. He and I are going to be working together to do a book, and it is going to be epic. So if you're interested in making sure that you're on top of things, look in the link in the description below, and I actually have a link to my mailing list. Please do join, and uh, yeah, that'll help us out a lot. She-Hulk. All right. She-Hulk Backlash. Here's the thing. I'm I would say I'm pretty dialed in to internet backlash, especially as it surrounds any comic book uh, franchise. I'm not going to say I don't miss things sometimes, like it happens. Generally speaking though, I will tell you, I heard about uh, She-Hulk that, that was coming out on Disney Plus, and you know what? I didn't even care. I don't even care about Disney Plus whatsoever. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've got my head in the sand here. I did not see this backlash to which you were speaking of. This has, has been happening more and more recently where you'll hear that there's backlash, but not actually see the backlash. Remember that thing when uh, AOC was dancing on a rooftop or whatever it was recorded in high school, and supposedly a whole bunch of people were really, really upset about it, and so they took to Twitter. Nobody saw that. There was no backlash. It's a narrative that's built. So here we go, doubling down, and this is this is purely self-contained. This is amazing. Self-contained denial of any wrongdoing, an admission of the exact same thing you're being accused of all in one article. This is amazing. Okay, I'm going to start here from the top. This was by Greg Anderson Elsie. He says, Being a fanboy of pop culture can be quite toxic, especially when you're part of a marginalized group. Yes, comic books, films, and television shows are forms of escapism from reality, and they tend to focus on protecting the underdog against the tyranny of evil. Uh, how is it when your perception of good and evil is so skewed that you go from saying that you don't like tyranny and evil, and then in the same article, if we, if we scroll down here, same article, you say that you're really just in it to make people cry. <laughs> you specifically said that you want to make people so upset and so so angry that you're shoving your, your politics down their throat that they that you get joy out of that like that that's all that you're looking for it has nothing to do this is moved beyond the point of hey we want good movies we want representation in movies and that's exactly what he says here it started with these so-called good intentions and then it has evolved into something it, really all this is about is trying to make people angry the thing is it's been happening so long most people i think like me it, it, this is just par for the course we've moved on we don't care you can have you can have the sh sinking ship. Okay, he says She Hulk, aka Jennifer Walters, is a beloved cousin of Bruce Banner, known famously as the Hulk. While being a female version of the Hulk, Jen has developed incredibly as her own character with her own mythology spanning various volumes of comic books on her own miniseries, guest appearances, etc. A majority of them have nothing to do with her cousin. Oh, so she's a, an established character? <laughs> See, there's a thing you'll notice then. A female version. This was back when you know a lot of these kinds of characters were created that were spin-offs of an original character it was like hey there's the hulk let's make a female version of the hulk that ought to be cool and it's funny because the same kinds of so-called really really progressive people had issues with that because it's a female version of a male character now though for some reason it's female empowerment or something i, I don't get it why is the goalpost moving okay so here's the other thing he addresses when people say that male characters are going to be wiped out or that people are pandering to SJWs or the far left or wh whoever really, really wants to just change all these superficial characteristics of characters. Removing the character of Thor from a book called Thor and replacing him with a female, I think we agree that is you're moving the male character out to put in a female character. It's really heavy handed. Creating a second version of a character hulk versus she hulk it's a separate character it's an addition i honestly have not seen anybody upset about this i think you're lying i'm going to call this this is not true okay and, and this is the best part here quoting pandering like this is people critics of this have claimed 
that you are pandering to SJWs and you're going to, you put that in quotes as though like it's, it's not real, but then you jump down here and you literally say just that. Arguments such as this is pandering to the PC or catering to social justice warriors, even though technically all superheroes aren't social justice warriors, are seen as sound arguments to these entitled fanboys. Okay, so you just stated the argument and you say that they're seen as sound arguments. So this is where now, the next part, where you should go ahead and say something that counters that argument. If it's not a good argument, you would have something to go back at it, right? Well, let's see, here's the next paragraph. No amount of logic or facts will deter them or make them think otherwise. So you admitted you have no fa you have no facts or logics. There's, there is none, there is no argument. <laughs> so like just admitting that, hey, you've got an argument, I think it's wrong but there's nothing I can say that'll convince you that it's wrong because I have no counter argument. That is your counter argument? I, that's it? That is it. Okay, so he said he used to be one of those people that used to argue about equality and representation and somehow, and I think that's, like this is, this is an actual debate you could have, okay? You could have this anywhere. A debate about if representation in media matters. What difference does it make? What data do you have behind this? Bring bring us your so-called facts and logic. This would be a really interesting debate to have. I would seriously be interested in seeing this play out by two knowledgeable people that actually had arguments to make. But here's the problem. You said it reached a point where it got tiresome. Now, I guarantee that all this was was just arguing with people on Twitter. That has nothing to do with right or wrong. That's It gets tiresome arguing with people on Twitter. You don't have to. That is not really productive. That's not the place to be even having some kind of a productive debate. Uh, he used to believe that if he could change even one person's misguided opinion, then it would be worth it. Oh boy. Now though? Now? <laughs> what is the argument? No. Now he says it is really just about making people upset. It is a troll campaign, and here you go, it is fully admitted here. One thing I noticed, the more these announcements happened, the more I laughed because I started to enjoy the tears of fanboys. Fanboys! I've never referred to myself as a fanboy, that's a, I hate that term. Who, who actually says, oh, I'm a fanboy? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, do you agree with that term or is it weird? Okay, and then he says, no amount of angry disapproval of these character, new characters who cater, cater, to another crowd are stopping these companies from making more. The amount of backlash because of gay couples at CBS All Access, Star Trek's Discovery, kissing while being led by an Asian and a black captain has slowed down the popularity of the series or franchise. No amount of disapproval of Starfire having dark skin or being played by Anna Duip has led to DC Universe's Titans being canceled. No amount of bigotry toward Miss Marvel for being a happy Muslim hero. Here's the thing. If you if we can't be honest about any of these disagreements, I don't know what why this is even worth talking about. The disagreement has never never. I don't know anybody that has a problem with having a cast of characters, superheroes or otherwise, that are diverse. They have different religions, uh, different genders, etc., etc., etc. I don't see a problem with that. I haven't seen it because it's happened for years. The problem has been that recently identity politics has been used in divisive ways to try and p push a political agenda. Now you've admitted to just that here. <laughs> the point is to make people upset because you want to force your point of view and your perspective on people by changing characters and by it's not just about changing characters what i find even worse is when you're reading in a comic book and you get lectured to by one of those characters for your immutable characteristics that is extremely annoying nobody wants to read that and i would argue even the so-called underdogs that you're trying to protect and that you think you're championing 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 none of those people are actually enjoying it either you're doing this for your own self-gratification not for anybody else let's be clear about this social justice warriorism is not about justice it's not about helping the underdog it's about furthering your political agenda that's all it is okay, here's the other thing too <laughs> two, two memes. I don't know if you can call these memes really. Okay. So it's me arguing on the internet back in the day. I can do this all day. Me arguing on the internet nowadays. No, I don't think I will. Like you've, you've grown out of it. You're done arguing on the internet. However, you're totally fine writing entire articles about, uh, 
made up outrage over uh, a, a Disney Plus TV series. And on the same website, Bleeding Cool, again, same website, same day, DC Comics is about to give us a black Batman. If, if you can't see why this is so irritating, Right, like again, why is it not about, hey, DC DC Comics has, uh, a, for some reason, there's another Batman or they're moving the mantle. I don't know how exactly they're going to do this. The lead here, the lead is about his skin color. Do you see the problem here? It has nothing to do with the story, has nothing to do with anything else. And however they write it in, maybe that should be the lead. Like Batman's going to die. Wouldn't that be big news? No, DC is about to give us a black Batman. This is why this discussion is so difficult to have. Uh, I don't, I don't see, <laughs> I don't see any of this changing anytime soon. And I think it'll, it'll take probably a little bit of time before the, it, all of this goes the same direction as all the Gillette ads. You've seen it before. Go woke, get broke. Here we go. Part two. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about all of this and let's keep that subscri subscriber count growing. Thanks very much. And I'll see you next time.